What's going on guys? It's your boy DBGTX underscore 101 here with another DB Super episode review like every Saturday. I know I've been late lately, but this time I got you guys right on the hour. This episode is episode 126, surpass even a god, Vegeta's desperate blow. We got a lot of action in this episode. Very, very few dialogue, very repetitive dialogue, but ultimately a very good episode where we get more, 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 more demonstration of what Vegeta's new powers, the new uh, tapped in abilities are. So without saying anything else, let's go ahead and get into this episode. I really liked it. My personal review is a 7.7 .7 out of 10, but I'll go ahead and I'll explain that to you guys later. So this episode starts off with a segment of last episode right after Topo go ahead and puts uh, Frieza through all the rocks and rubbles and whatnot and picks him up by the head and squeezes him like an orange like I said last time. Uh, they go ahead and uh, shoot uh, beams at each other, uh, number 17 and Topo, obviously Topo's uh, Topo's like high energy eats up everything and whatnot. So now 17 is running away, shooting that energy blast at him as he's trying to run. Topo's like, it's nothing for me, it's futile, you can't stop me, bro. So stop doing that. 17 is like, yo, I'm not gonna give up, you know, I'm just gonna run out the time if I have to. Uh, ultimately, uh, Topo goes ahead and and like does a Hakai against the uh against a mountainside where 17 notices that um everything that everything that Topo is destroying around it is not being destroyed so he uses that to his advantage and destroys the mount uh, cliffside brings it down on Topo just to kind of stop him but it doesn't really do anything up to him obviously um Topo goes ahead and knocks him around a little bit tells him hey look i destroy you personally but you know i can't get disqualified so he goes ahead forms a giant blast ultimately look i'm looking at these blasts that topo is forming and i'm like bro listen you you shooting a kill no matter what you saying you saying that you not trying to kill somebody or destroy somebody but you, uh, oh, these blasts look too powerful too op to not kill somebody you know my man Frieza appears out of nowhere, shoots a death beam, blows the blast over Topo's head, and then hits Topo with a psychokinesis attack and throws rocks at him. Really, I knew this was not going to do anything. <laughs> Topo gives him a beat down again. This is the part where I thought I had a little bit of issue because the animation got kind of wacky. Um... I don't know who uh, was animating this part of the episode. I'm going to watch Anime AJ for it. But, like, the anime, the animation got very, very kind of junky right here. And I was like, eh, I kind of cringed. Um, anyway, um, went back to the, going back to the episode as far as that. Because um, this is a review. If guys, if you don't understand, this is a review not just about what happened in the episode. It's a review of how everything was paced, if it was a good story or not for the episode entirely. So when I see that, including the animation, sometimes the animation can be too repetitive. And to me, that makes the episode not be that, that good. When they put some new animation and do everything else, you feel me? Anyways, their match get interrupted by Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren causing Black Sark everywhere. Jiren Trent does a giant ball and sends it over to the Android 17 and Frieza, knocking them somewhere on the battle stage. And then they go ahead and do, go ahead with their original plan and divide Goku and Vegeta. Jiren starts shooting an uh, endless amount of energy blasts at Vegeta. Vegeta goes ahead and avoids it eventually. Jumps up on top of a cliff and it's final flash. But Topo uses a Kai energy and goes ahead and destroys his final flash. Telling him, is that all the power that you got? Starts smacking around my boy Vegeta. Vegeta grabs both of his stuff. Tells him, man, you was talking all this justice stuff. Now you're talking about destruction. What's up with that? He's like, bro, that's because I'm giving up everything that I got because survival is everything Vegeta's like what you giving up everything you got come on bro don't be like that man my kid my wife my other kid that's just got born my promise 
my pride, I could never go ahead and be like you, bro. You finna get the stomping now because you just disrespecting me. So Vegeta goes ahead and start knocking my my guy Topo around. Blah 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 blah. Boom 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 boom. Beep 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 beep. Yep, you know it. It's Vegeta time, my guys. Vegeta getting it in. You know, uh, Belmont telling him to go ahead and destroy everything. Vegeta's like, yo, you a fucking loser, bro. You know, you going ahead and having all this power. You giving up everything just to, in order to live and whatnot. You know, you can't even believe in your own pride and whatnot. Let me show you some real power. Let me show you raw power. My man start charging up. And honestly, right here, bro, I teared up because... <sighs> the last time this man used this move... I, he died, and, um, I'm watching this whole thing happen and unfold, like, as you can see in the images, and I'm over here like, bro, what are you doing, no, 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 you can't be doing this again, man, come on, bro, yo, I, I'm choking up over here, he did, the final explosion against the Hakai energy. He got absorbed into the Hakai energy. He blasted through the Hakai energy, tore the whole stage apart, and we got the elimination of Topo. Now, I want to get into the fact that Jiren called this man's performance pathetic, and now we're starting to see the real nature of the beast. Jiren is something else else and that's going to be the interesting thing of next episode because we saw like a hint of a difference of a personality in Jiren like a real you know heel type pers personality but stay tuned for that and you know I got you guys next week with a new episode review like always you already know y'all have a good evening peace out